Oslo. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Gentlemen, on behalf of the Polish Airlines, Star Alliance and our partner airlines, I want to welcome you on board our Embraer 175 aircraft. Hey everyone, Hi. what's going on? And welcome back to another video. So we finally arrived here in Vroslav. I think it's called Vroslav. I used to say Vroklav, but I think that's not correct. Which is on the west side of Poland. Our flight went pretty well. Uh, it's a bit rainy outside as you can see and the whole week is going to be like that but we are super excited to be here. I left most of my camera gear at home and just brought my go-to vlogging setup with me because in today's video I would like to show you how to vlog with an iPhone particularly with the iPhone 11 Pro Max. It's much more travel friendly than using something like a DSLR and you really don't need expensive camera gear to get started. While I take you with me on this trip, we're going to have a lot of fun. I'm going to show you my go-to vlogging setup, the camera setting I use to capture high quality video and 10 tips to get started with vlogging. There will be a timestamp below if you want to skip or go back to a particular part of the video. So what are you waiting for? Let's discover Vroslav, uh, Vroslav, sorry. She loves So before we get back to the vlogging video, let me show you my go-to camera setup for vlogging. Where's the fucking dead cat? There it went. So this is the whole vlogging setup I used uh, for my trip. And starting from the top, we have uh, the Rode Video Micro with the dead cat or the windshield on it. I have it attached to the Ulanzi phone mount, which also holds my iPhone 11 Pro Max. The cable I'm using is the SC7. You have to additionally buy this to make it compatible, and you have to have this cable, otherwise the phone won't detect the microphone. What you also have to additionally buy is this Lightning to 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, which you then are able to plug in to your iPhone. Now I also have a case for the iPhone 11 Pro Max. It's called the Light Chaser Pro Filmmaking Kit. The reason why I bought this is because I can attach an ND filter to it. This way I can maintain that shutter speed of one over 50 to get that natural motion blur. Below I have a mini tripod from Manfrotto. This really helps getting stable footage. Now the reason why I mounted it this way so that the camera is upside down is because so that I don't have the windshield in the frame. And what I also additionally got, this is called the iXPand flash drive from SanDisk. I brought this with me so that I can back up all of my footage in case my storage is full. So this is a really useful feature. I can just plug it in and transfer all of the footage onto this stick. So let's get back to the vlogging video. We're now heading to our next event, which is Axed Throwing. So let's look at our camera settings. I use Filmic Pro to record all of my videos. Filmic Pro is a professional video application app um, that allows me to have full control over my camera. So the first thing I do when I open up Filmic Pro is I change um, my camera from wide angle to ultra wide. This gives me a super wide perspective and is perfect for vlogging since I want myself in the frame and not cut out. The resolution I'm using is 4K, which has more detail and the encoding rate is Filmic Extreme, which captures more information and therefore gives you a better video quality. As for the frame rate, I'm using 25 frames per second. 
if I want to shoot B-roll, I switch over to 60 frames per second to get that slow motion uh, effect. As for the ISO, I lock it at its lowest um, because that way I can avoid uh, noise in my image. So my shutter speed is set to double the frame rate, which is 1 over 50. I make sure to lock my shutter speed so that I can just adjust the ISO when I have to. Very important, lock your white balance, that way you will avoid color shifts um, in your video. As for my picture profile, I use flat so that I have more options when color grading. But if you want to be quick and don't want to spend time on color grading, you can also use the dynamic picture profile. The audio I set to my external mic and I make sure that I adjust the levels so that it doesn't peak. All right, so these are my camera settings for getting the best out of my video. No drone. Lucky I didn't bring one with me. You must keep the green pup. There will be junction with the yellow one. Don't go yellow. So enjoy. Thank, Thank you. Uh, you've got my number. Yes. Wait, so 10 past 1 p.m. the latest time you should show up on the park. Super beautiful out here. Look at this lake. Look at the rocks and the forest. And I think we're the only one here out so far. So it's going to be a nice hiking tour for us. protein brownies. So while we're on this trip, I would like to give you 10 tips on how to start vlogging with your iPhone. And the first tip is to fully charge your phone, which is quite simple and obvious. And what I like to do is bring my power bank with me, which I carry in this small bag in case I need to uh, recharge my phone and that has helped me a lot even though I'm using the iPhone 11 Pro Max which lasts me almost a whole day to film you never really know so keep that in mind so the next tip I have for you is to have enough storage in your phone. So make sure to delete unnecessary pictures or videos that you don't need to free up space. But what you also can do is record in a smaller file size. And another thing you could do is use like a, a stick that you can plug into your phone and then transfer the files to that stick and delete it off your phone. Hey, you <laughs> smile! <laughs> Tip number three is to use a tripod or a gimbal. Having this three-point contact will allow you to have less shakier footage. So tip number four is to think about lighting. So when it's bright outside, I like using an ND filter to reduce the light hitting the sensor. And this way I can maintain my shutter speed of 1 over 50 of a second to get that natural motion blur. Also, what I do is lock my exposure before I start recording so that I avoid exposure changes during filming. Tip number five is to use a microphone. Now, the microphones on the iPhones capture all the ambient noise and you don't want that. You want to use a shotgun mic which is more directional to have your voice be more present in the video. So I'm currently on top of a church and it's quite windy outside and the microphone I'm using is the Rode Video Micro which I plugged into my iPhone. I have a windshield mounted on it and the audio should be pretty good. And this is how it sounds like using just the built-in microphone on the iPhone 11 Pro Max. You'll probably hear more of wind noise and the audio is probably not as good as using an external mic. Now 
Now filming a vlog is one thing, the other thing would be editing it together to create your story. So I suggest you learn a video editing application. I personally like to use InShot. It's a free app that you can download for iOS or Android. And it's pretty advanced for what you can do. And if you're on the go, that's perfect because you can just edit it on your phone. Now for more complex videos, I use my iMac Pro at home, but for simple edits like a vlog or so, uh, this could be really useful. I actually have a dedicated video on that which is called how to film and edit with your iPhone which I will link up here somewhere. So what advice do you have for people that want to start vlogging? Just take it easy, no stress and talk to the camera like it's a friend. That's actually a pretty good advice. So tip number seven is to film B-roll. This really enhances your story and just makes it more engaging. What I like to do is film in 4K, 60 frames per second to get that nice slow motion that I can put on top of my A-roll. Oh my God. So tip number nine is also to add time lapses to your video. This is also a great way for B-roll and shows the passage of time. And if you have a tripod, you can just set it up on any flat surface and start recording. On the iPhone, you can just set it to time-lapse mode and just press record and it will do the work for you. Oh God, I'm dying. Damn, that was tight. So we are here. For my last tip is just start, you know. At first it can be intimidating, but the more you do it, the comfortable you get with it. And when I do this, nobody even cares. Like they don't, they look at me, but you know, life goes on, right? So just do it and think about what you want to say to the camera or to your audience and really just be yourself. And if you mess up, don't worry, you can edit things out. I mess up all the time. And if you struggle with vlogging, maybe start in places where there's nobody around, where you can just talk to the camera and be open. And that helped me a lot at first. So yeah, these were my 10 tips. I'm gonna head back now to our tour guide. It's probably waiting for us. We have still a long way to go. We're actually going to shoot, not with my camera, but with real weapons. Really easy weapon, it's only noisy. And tell me how was it? Easy or not? <laughs> Is that easy? <laughs> not bad, yeah? <laughs> and wet. No. Good bad, reason actually. to wear uh, the brown trousers. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Try to make hot. Okay? Okay. <laughs> I got bad news. What? You, you miss everything. No way. <laughs> yeah. Seriously? We don't nope. have. <laughs> Rambo, <Okay>. shit happens. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, you want it or you don't want it? No, no. I... Reload it. Go. Oh. <laughs> Reload it. Ach, so scheiße. This is awesome. Oh. <laughs> Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, it's enough. All right, guys, that was it for today's tutorial. Overall, despite the bad weather, our stay in Roslov was an awesome experience. 
One of the great things about vlogging is that you can share your story through video with the world and re-watch it to bring up old memories. I hope this video gave you an idea on how to start vlogging using something simple as an iPhone and a couple of accessories to get the most out of your videos. So let me know what you think of this vlogging setup. Leave a like if you enjoyed this and subscribe to his channel. We're gonna enjoy the rest of the day and I will see you in the next video guys. Peace. Bye.